Dr. Shahid, you have examined this 10-year-old girl. Kindly describe your examination findings and your uh, summary of case. Okay, sir. I have examined 10-year-old child. Uh, she is quite cooperative during my examination. She has Ivelan in his right hand. Uh, she has no dysmorphism, no neurocutaneous no stigmata, uh, no abnormal movement. Uh, no abnormal movement uh, in the low in the motor system examination. Uh, she has generalized hypotonia uh, in lower limb power of two by five. Uh, reflexes absent and uh, bilateral muscle uh, bulk is normal uh, and uh, uh, deep tender reflexes absent and plantar is mute. Uh, abdomen is soft and uh, blood is not palpable. Uh, in upper limbs, so there is a hypotonia. Reflexes are absent uh, and the power is four by five. Uh, in uh, upper limbs and uh, there is a facial uh, seven nerve facial palsy in the form of uh, 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 unable to pa patients unable to uh, close eyes and ballooning of air in mouth uh, and uh, uh, her respiratory rate is 20 uh, per minute and uh, heart rate of one uh, heart, heart rate of 90 beat per minute. She her back is normal and sensory uh, uh, system is intact. Okay. So, uh, what are his abdominal reflexes? You have not described his abdominal reflexes. I have. Uh, they are the, present or not? Yeah, I have the present. Abdominal have reflexes present. are present. Present. Superficial reflexes okay. are present. So, considering you had all these findings that are in the form of generalized hypertonia, hyperreflexia, and reduced power, mainly in the lower limbs as compared to the upper limb, without any sensory level, without ball bladder involvement, and back exam normal back examination with bilateral facial nerve palsy. So, what else you want to do in this child if you have the time? I will uh, because uh, have you checked the gag of this child? Uh, I didn't, but, but her voice was normal. Her voice was normal. You want to do the frontoscopy of this child? Yes. You want to do the uh, check? I would have like to check also blood pressure. Why? Because of autonomic uh, instability. And frontoscopy? Uh, yes, I. It, can, it is a part of neurological examination. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would also do that. Is very important point. Thi? So what uh, what is the impression your impression of this case? Uh, it can be case of uh, Gullian Bart syndrome, mm -hmm. AFP in the form of uh, Gullian Bart. What else you have thought in this uh, case? Transfer mellitus. Transfer mellitus. And third? Uh, third, uh, diphtheric neuropathy. Diphtheric neuropathy. Okay, so why you have put the GBS in the top of your list of differential diagnosis? Uh, because sensory level is, uh, sensory uh, system is intact no, and no, no bowel bladder is. Uh, this is. These are the points that differentiate the GBS from the transfer mellitus. First, you have to uh, tell those points which favor the GPS. Uh, because ascending paralysis. Ascending, you don't have the history in this case. Uh, hypotonia. Patient is generalized hypotonia. Generalized hypotonia and uh, generalized hypotonia, uh, uh, reflexia and plantar uh, is mute. Okay. A and so, uh, absent uh, patient is a case of uh, acute flaccid paralysis flaccid. in the form of hypotonia, hyperreflexia and reduced power. So that's why you have kept the GBS at top differential. Why not transverse mellitus at the top of differential? Uh, because the uh, uh, sensory system is not involved and mm -hmm. bladder is, blood is not. Uh, second uh, point. Uh, bladder is. Uh, second point. And no, uh, uh, there is no backache or pain during examination. Uh, Fourth point, and, yeah. Uh, abdominal flexes are present uh, in this case. Abdominal flexes are present. And yeah. facial nerve involvement. So, facial nerve involvement is also not seen in case of transverse mellitus. So, can uh, despite this, transverse mellitus is upper motor neuron type of linear or lower motor neuron type Transform of linear? Transverse mellitus is upper uh, motor neuron type. So, you are, uh, you, in this index case, the patient is all the finding of lower motor neuron type of linear. Why you have kept that? Uh, uh, the because patient in spinal shock, it may be can present as a. Okay, good. So, in spinal shock, patient can have the finding of lower motor neuron type of linear in, 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 uh, even in the case of transverse mellitus. And uh, why diphtheric neuropathy? at the third of your differential uh, diagnosis. Because it can also be present after uh, diphtheric infection, one month or two What is the typical later. presentation of post-diphtheric neuropathy? What is the typical presentation of post-diphtheric neuropathy? Uh, uh, weakness will be in all limbs equal. Post-diphtheric neuropathy starts with the bulbar involvement. Bulbar but in your index case, as you were told, the patient is, there is no NG in the patient. Patient is the voice of patient is normal. Normal. So uh, I, it seems to be that the patient is not having bulbar involvement. So typically the cases of post diphtheric neuropathy starts with the bulbar involvement. Can it be case of uh, 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 poliomyelitis? Uh, less likely. Why? Because of the uh, age. Again, polio it, it, can, can, it, can, it can be the case of polio. 
poliomyelitis. How? What is the typical presentation of poliomyelitis? Uh, but uh, symmetry. The typical presentation uh, of poliomyelitis is asymmetry. 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 Uh, yes, uh, they can present. Yeah, that can be in the uh, case of differential uh, diagnosis or differential differential. because the poliomyelitis are different types. Different types. So poliomyelitis cases can also present. Uh, so you tell the examiner that yes, it is a possible diagnosis, but less likely as compared to my other list of differential. Yeah, I will yeah. keep on the uh, on the list. lower cases, yeah. and definitely I will report this case. Okay, so it can be case of hypokalemic periodic paralysis. Uh, uh, no. Why no? Because a uh, 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 patient uh, can, uh, 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 patient is able to move uh, her uh, neck. It is not. Uh, it can be differential, yes. differential, but uh, we will see. Uh, there are some finding. points against the hypokalemic okay, process. Like she, like can, she can move her. Uh, typically, uh, the hypokalemic process, good point. She can maintain typically, her. Typically, the hypokalemic periodic uh, process present with the neck weakness. Neck weakness. And the facial involvement is against against, against uh, the uh, hypokalemic periodic paralysis. Uh, so considering uh, your first differential, how will you investigate investigate this child? Okay, uh, I will go for uh, 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 according to the uh, presentation. If it, uh, present in first week, good Shabar. Uh, first week uh, we will go for uh, CSF. Uh, CSF, CSF, all the investigations that we do for the GBS are usually done in the second week. Second week. And why we do it in the second week? Because of the inflammatory markers. They are and usually they are normal in the first normal week. First week and they rise in second okay. week. So, so what, what are the labs that you will uh, we plan will go for start? CSF. And what will be the findings in CSF? Uh, there will be cytoalbuminical uh, disassociation. Dissociation. Dis dissociation. Uh, and what is this dissociation? Uh, dissociation WFC, uh, WBC will be uh, less and the protein level will protein be Protein will be raised. WBC can be raised, but, raised, but they, uh, they are not as uh, compared as to much, the protein. As protein. And what is the reason of this increased WBC count and increased protein? Uh, due to inflam uh, uh, inflammatory, mark inflammatory marker. One thing that you have missed in your examination that are the signs of meningeal irritation. So do the signs of meningeal irritation are important in case of GBS? Yes, that yes, is important, important because GBS is a radiculopathy, radiculopathy. So if radiculopathy means nerve roots are inflamed, the patient will have the positive signs of meningeal irritation. So patient will have positive signs of meningeal irritation. So in case of GBS, you will have positive signs of meningeal irritation. The reason of that is the patient is having the radiculopathy. Okay. So you have first is the uh, uh, CSF examination. Second investigation. Uh, sir, uh, second EMG. EMG. Uh, what you will see in EMG? Uh, EMG NCS. The better word is EMG NCS. And EMG NCS. There will be amplitude will be decreased and the nerve conduction. There are two types of there are two there, there are two types of uh, uh, type of GBS uh, findings on EMG. One is the axonal and, and demyelinating. So axonal starts with the A. Yeah, and so amplitude, amplitude, amplitude will be, will be low. decreased and, and the in demyelinating the conduction losses will be reduced. So second test, third, what you can do? Uh, can do is a. MRI, MRI spine. Uh, MRI spine. And what will be the finding? Uh, to rule out uh, the. No, no. In GBS, what will be the finding on MRI spine? Uh, trans. There will be the. Hyperlucency. Thickening of. Uh, thickening of thicker. Uh, and uh, the enhancement of nerve roots no, will no. be on the MRI. What else you can do? Antibodies. Uh, ECG and antibodies. Anti 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 antibodies. GQ1B antibodies anti can also be done. So these are different investigation that you can plan in case of GPS. So how will you manage this index case? Uh, index, your index case is not having autonomic instability. Your index case is having power of 4 by 5 in upper limb and upper 3 by 5 in lower limb. And so what is your management plan? Of, uh, monitoring and observation. So you definitely admit the child? I will admit the child and we will pass NG. Monitor? Monitoring and Why you want to pass NG? Your index case is not having umbilical dysfunction. So yes, you just yes, monitor this child. Autonomic so you will admit, for, you will for, for autonomic stability, ECG and uh, BP monitoring and uh, heart rate monitoring and respiration. Observe for respiratory uh, compromise. Uh, so you, at least four early vital monitoring will be done in this index case. And nutrition rehabilitation. Physiotherapy, ball builder care, okay, and care of the back. So these are important points uh, to prevent uh, hospital required infection to prevent DVT because patient is bedridden. So all the care is very important. And uh, when you plan for the treatment and what will be the treatment modality in this child considering the 10 years of age? Uh, if your respiratory system is involved. If respiratory system is involved. In, involved and... Uh, uh, there is rapid progression. Rapid progression and uh, uh, 
bulbar dysfunction bulbar, bulbar dysfunction and cranial nerve uh, bulbar dysfunction these so are the indication for treatment for treatment so treatment options are uh, we have uh, aminoglobins and uh, plasma flexes dose of ivig uh, 2 g per kg for 2 uh, to 5 days for 2 days or 5 days 5 days and plasma flexes is another possibility uh, it, uh, uh, plasma flexes we give the two uh, what are the uh, what are the side effects of ivig uh, it can be uh, uh, apoplastic meningitis good uh, And reaction again in a flexive in a flexive reaction. So uh, if patient does not respond to IVG, can you repeat the dose of IVG? Uh, we can't. Yes, we can repeat the dose after one week. One week. If there is no response, one to two weeks after one two weeks, you can repeat the dose of IVG. So what is the first sign that uh, of recovery after uh, uh, GBS? Uh, it's from uh, upper level to lower level. We can start from lower to upper, and uh, up, uh, um, in the same way, patient start improving. And deep nerve flexes are last, uh, the last one to recover. So uh, recovery can take up to uh, uh, in which in, in how many uh, time period the patient can recover? There are chances that patient can recover. Uh, maximum is one year. One year. Up to up to one year, patient can have the I recovery. Okay. So these are the basic uh, findings. These are basic questions about the GBS. Thank you and well done.